All right, here we are with my 2018 Tesla Model 3. As you can see, I'm actually in the process of rebuilding it. I bought it at a salvage yard. And this is my ultrasonic sensors, fog lights, pretty much everything that controls the front bumper. And I have that unplugged. And surprisingly, the car is still registering um, registering parking sensor stuff. So it's registering that I'm 20 inches away from this car right here, which is actually pretty accurate. I'll show that in a second. But as you can see, I've got the repeater cameras unplugged on both sides. And then my front cameras though are working. We'll work on the car here. And yeah, as you can see that most of the stuff is plugged in, but I'll go ahead and show you that the car is actually detecting that car right there with no ultrasonics. This makes me believe that the vision system and the ultrasonics have been working together um, on the entire thing. And this is an older software update, so software version. This was in that brown September, September. So pretty interesting. I'll show you that here. All right, as I'm going to reverse here, um, as you can see, it's registering that my rear parking sensor is detecting this vehicle next to me. I'm gonna keep going back further here and the front end should start detecting the car from the front. Let's see here. Yep, there it is right there. As you can see, if I, let me see if I can move closer here. You see 23 inches away is what it's detecting. 21, 20, 19, 17 inches. And as you can see, that's pretty accurate here from where I am per, per positioned next to the car. So 17 inches away. And as you can see, it does it on both sides actually. All right, as I'm going to reverse here, um, as you can see, it's registering that my rear parking sensor is detecting this vehicle next to me. I'm gonna keep going back further here and the front end should start detecting the car from the front. Let's see here. Yep, there it is right there. As you can see, if I, let me see if I can move closer here. You see 23 inches away is what it's detecting. 21, 20, 19, 17 inches. And as you can see, that's pretty accurate here from where I am per, per position next to the car. So 17 inches away. And as you can see, it does it on both sides actually. So if I go ahead and shift into drive and I'm gonna go ahead and go to the other car here. Try not to hit it. Shift to reverse. It might not do it again. It's always having issues. So what I'm gonna do to reset it is like pull forward here, pull up here, and I'm gonna shift to reverse. And as you can see, we're detecting both vehicles again right here and right here and that corresponds with that so that's my rear parking sensors being activated so we're going to keep going back here just until i'm going to start turning the wheel here so that we can get the front parking sensors or a registration of that but as you can see there it is again 16 inches away and based on when the camera is proportioned which is up here you should be able to see that based off of the vision system so that's pretty interesting i think it'd be something that might be, you know, coming in future software updates because, you know, cars with no ultrasonic sensors are going to be vision based. So this car right here has ultrasonic sensors. And from my understanding, it seems like the vision system and the parking sensors have been working together for a long time to calculate distances or the vision system right here has been working to, you know, collect data and stuff like that. And I guess by unplugging the front wiring harness, parking sensors and fog lights, it makes the car think that it's not it needs to only switch to vision. So let's do this. Let's try it again. And surprisingly enough, when I get really close to my garage here, it doesn't register. It's only doing sides, which is pretty interesting. So I'm like 10 inches away from my garage here. I'm only getting registration for the back. And as I move back here, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get the front end to touch, not touch, but register. There we go, 20 inches. So let's see if I move real close. The thing is it only works in reverse. There we go, real close. Let's see what it says here. It says stop. Well, it did for a second. We'll go ahead and reverse a little bit further. And as you can see, as I move away from the vehicle, 13, 20, 16, it's registering different inches. And look at that, 33 inches away. And that's about pretty accurate with this Volvo right here. So really interesting. All right, now this is very interesting here. I unplugged my parking sensors and I'm, the car is saying, it's saying stop um, because I've got my front bumper right in front of it. So look at this, the car, and I'll move back here a little bit. The car is detecting something that is very, very close to it on the front end. So I'm going to move forward here again. It doesn't do it while I'm stopped, but shift to reverse. Look at that. And I'll show you on the outside here. Very interesting. So 
it's almost like the radar module could be doing this or our front cameras. I'm gonna go ahead and cover the front camera and see what happens. So I went ahead and put a piece of tape on the front cameras here. Again, I have no parking sensors plugged in. I do have my radar module. Maybe that can see to the sides here, but I'm not positive. These are the crash sensors. I don't think they have anything to do with it. So we'll go ahead and hop in the car here. Alrighty. Hopping in the car here, throwing it into reverse. Interesting, so we got nothing yet. I have zero parking sensors, just to say now. It's not, it wasn't working, but I'm gonna pull forward here. I get real close to my garage. And there we go. Shifting to reverse. All right, look at that. We got two registrations on the front left, front rear and front right, front, uh, front back. So as you can see, I'm getting closer here. Now that this cover, this tape is covering the cameras here, I'm not getting a registration of the parking sensors. Oh, there it is. Very interesting. Somehow the car is detecting I'm 15 inches away. This makes me think now that the side cameras here mounted on the B pillar, my B pillar cameras, could be looking forward. This would be the angle that they're at and detecting stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover those up and then we'll retest it. All right, I got the repeater cameras, or no, my bad, the B pillar cameras covered up on both sides. I do not have my repeater cameras in, so this actually would make a lot more sense to me here if it was the B pillar cameras that were measuring distance because they have the perfect view. So go ahead and shift to drive here and in drive, park assist unavailable. So we'll see if that comes back here. If it's saying park assist unavailable, that leads me to believe that the rear sensors don't do anything. So let's see here. Yep, look at that. It's the B-pillar cameras. The B-pillar cameras are measuring distances. Once I have those covered up, you see, it doesn't, nothing happens. See, I got nothing there. And usually I'd be getting a, re a reading of like 12 inches, 10 inches, something like that. So what I'm gonna do is step out of the car here. I'm actually just gonna uncover this side right here. Hop back in the car. We'll pull forward again. Ooh, pretty icy here. Throw it into reverse. We'll try to get the front end here to get a reading. Still nothing. Pretty interesting. I'm still, I think I'm still getting a park assist unavailable. I think so. So interesting. I don't know what's going on here. All right. And we're back here. We got all of our cameras. Take, I took the tape off all the cameras. Shifting to reverse here. Still no thing. Park assist unavailable is the air I'm getting. We're going to go ahead and pull forward here and see what it does. Shifting to reverse here. Okay, 31 inches is what I just said. I'm gonna keep reversing here. Kick the front out here. It's like, there's a right reading there. Looks like now I got nothing. So very interesting. It seems pretty intermediate. Um, I think it would make sense if the B-pillar cameras were measuring distances because the B-pillar cameras have the perfect angle for that. So let's see if I can pull forward here again. Um, Give it one more shot here before I give up. So rear parking sensors are detecting correctly, 27 inches away from the vehicle to my right. Nothing. Very interesting. Um, I'm gonna pull the car into the garage, let it sit for a little bit, and then we'll see what it does. But I did that earlier and I did a hard reset and I still got the same issue, so it's very intermediate. Not quite sure, but from my understanding, these B-pillar cameras, could be measuring distance because they technically do look forward so this is very interesting um i'm excited to do some more testing on it um yeah and right here is my software version look at v11 2022.28.2 um i was told this is like october or september so fairly old um i have not updated the car because i have nothing plugged in i have my srs module removed um both headlights etc and it would just cause complications when software updating the car. So I don't have anything plugged in. Um, once I get the fenders and stuff like that, I'll go ahead and plug those in and software update the car. And we'll go ahead and see if that's the same issue. But yeah, for now, pretty interesting that the cameras up here are detecting objects. So I'll show you some point of views of what the camera I'm pretty sure we'll see. And yeah.